From its unique buddy cop spin on the source material to the potential for a few iconic characters to make their debut, there's a lot to get excited about when it comes to the upcoming Green Lantern TV show. I kind of feel like this is something the fans deserve, because the Green Lantern is one of the most poorly adapted characters from the DC canon, at least if you only focus on the live action adaptation, namely the travesty that we got back in 2011. I, for one, was super confused when the movie came out, because it seemed to have a lot going for it, directed by the guy behind Casino Royale and with none other than Ryan Reynolds in the lead role. Then, you know, aside from that, you do the, re the regular stuff. I mean, you're lifting, you know, ridiculous amounts of weight at 3.30 in the morning trying to get ready before work and, uh, um, you know, it's, uh, it's grueling, but it's, it's worth it in the long haul. The 2011 Green Lantern movie should have been everything we were hoping for, but it turned out to be a massive disappointment. It just didn't feel true to the character. Now, there have been some decent Green Lanterns in animated shows. Justice League comes to mind as one of the first shows to truly capture the vibe, and the animated Green Lantern series from a decade ago is a personal favorite of mine. Even so, we've never gotten a thoroughly satisfying cinematic experience. Despite the Green Lantern being one of the best DC heroes of all time, at least in my humble opinion, which I'm sure most of you agree with. So what can we expect from the upcoming series that James Gunn announced? Well, the fans here at San Diego Comic-Con are just some of the best fans in the world. They're people from all over the world who travel here because they love these movies, they love comics, and to be able to share this with them before anyone else is a special moment for me. One thing's gotten me pretty excited. We're gonna get to see more than one Green Lantern. It's it's almost like James Gunn is trying to make up for lost time, which makes sense considering how poorly the character has been handled so far. Based on the announcements we've seen, two of the most famous Green Lanterns from the comics are coming to your screens, namely Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. Most fans will be familiar with these two. Hal was technically the first real Green Lantern. He was preceded by a guy named Alan Scott, but that version of the character was nothing like the one we know and love. Hal Jordan was the the guy that defined Green Lantern for generations to come, and Jon Stewart's no chump either. Not only is he a very well-respected bearer of the power ring, he was also one of the first black characters to take up a mantle as iconic as the Green Lanterns. What's more, Jon got even more famous when he was chosen as the Green Lantern for the animated Justice League series, and he was also included in the Snyder Cut. I get the feeling some of you are itching for some plot details right about now. Worry not, I've got you covered. The show's gonna pair up Hal and John in a police procedural, which actually sounds like a super interesting way to adapt them. Gunn has even compared the show to True Detective. It's one of, you know, our jobs, mine and Peter's, is to come in and make sure the DCU is connected in film, television, gaming, and animation. In case you've never heard of it, it's one of the best shows HBO has ever produced, mostly because it experimented with the buddy cop genre and tried to make it a lot more intellectual. According to the plot details that have been released, Hal and John are gonna be teaming up to defeat a threat to Earth. Remember, these Green Lanterns are kinda like the cops assigned to our planet. Earth is their beat, their precinct. So if anything bad is going down, the Green Lanterns are probably gonna to be the first responders at the scene. Even Superman has to work with them if they've already arrived, because the Green Lantern Corps is no joke. It's one of the most powerful organizations in the galaxy, and the threats they deal with have the potential to end millions of lives. This all sounds great, but it also means we won't get to see another Green Lantern show that was announced back in 2019. Greg Berlanti's adaptations? No more. It's, it's flattering to be asked to be here, obviously, um, but really the, the good luck I have is to get to work with these actors all the time and see up close how they uh, their immense talent. Some of you might be scratching your head here. You might be asking, who's this Greg guy all of a sudden? Well, he's the guy behind the Arrowverse, and he was slated to produce a Green Lantern show for HBO Max. Until James Gunn suddenly took the throne, he was quick to cancel Berlanti's work, which is a real shame, because Greg had a much grander vision for his series. He wasn't just gonna treat the Green Lanterns like detectives. Instead, he was planning 
attempt to make it an epic saga. One that would have not one, not two, but three Green Lanterns, each of which would inhabit different timelines, mind you. What's more, we would have gotten to see the Green Lantern Corps headquarters, too. It sounds a lot like a sprawling Star Wars-esque sci-fi extravaganza, but I guess Gunn's more toned-down approach will work just fine. Beggars can't be choosers, am I right? There's actually something that makes Gunn scrapping Berlanti's show kind of understandable. It's gonna set the stage for Chapter 1 of the relaunched DCU. James Gunn has really got his work cut out for him, at least if he's serious about doing the DC canon justice. He seems to be quite committed to the role, and he's mentioned how crucial Lanterns is a bunch of times. From the looks of things, Lanterns will connect to a ton of other DC content. Think of it like Peacemaker in that regard. I have a feeling that we're gonna see quite a few other DC characters on the show as well, probably because they're gonna get their own spin-offs as well down the line. There's also a rumor going around that Hal and John might even be adversaries at first. I can imagine them getting competitive if they have to share a beat. Most Lanterns have their own precinct to handle all on their own, and if Gunn is staying true to the source material, having two Lanterns at the same time is gonna be pretty unusual. But there are some hints we can get from the promo poster. It shows Hal wearing green while John is clad in yellow. That could put them at odds because Green Lanterns usually don't wear yellow. It's the color of their mortal enemies after all. Maybe they're gonna warm up to each other over the course of the show, probably because there'll be an even greater threat on the horizon. Speaking of which, who might end up being the antagonist of the series? The Green Lantern comics have a stellar rogue gallery, but my money's on one villain in particular getting his debut. Sinestro would be the perfect fit for the series. Just think about it. Lanterns is supposed to be the big debut for a super underrated DC hero, and considering that Sinestro is the most iconic villain that any Green Lantern has ever faced, why in the world would Gunn choose anyone else to pit his protagonist against? Sinestro also plays a role in Hal Jordan's origin story, although I doubt Gunn's gonna cover that. Lanterns just has too much writing on it. Wasting time showing us how Hal got the ring wouldn't leave enough room for everything else. Gunn's got a whole cinematic universe to launch. Something tells me he's gonna want to skip straight to the good stuff. That said, promo posters have shown Hal wearing yellow, and his suit looks strikingly similar to the one Sinestro usually wears, so maybe they're gonna give Hal some story elements from his arch nemesis. Or perhaps they'll introduce Sinestro a bit later on. Maybe Gunn would want to save him for a movie, cause I don't know if you heard, but these Green Lanterns are gonna be showing up a lot in the rest of the DCU. The upcoming series is just gonna give us a taste, and it might just be the best part of the reboot DCU that I've heard of so far. That's all you need to know about DC's recently announced Green Lantern series.